Within this video, we're gonna use the template editor and create a template from scratch that's gonna be a top runs report with six drawings and six text boxes that are gonna act as the title of the drawing. To begin, go ahead and trigger the template editor. And then from here, I just wanna build out the basic framework of how I want the template to look. At the top, we're gonna to insert a rectangle, change the font, and basically label how we want the template to look. So I get my rectangle tool, we're gonna to drop that, adjust it to the top left corner. From here, I can change my shape fill, the outline weight, depending on however you want the style to look. And then on the inside, we're gonna change the text font and color. Then I can label the top of the report. After that, we wanna get our spacing correct and be able to evenly space out all of our drawings to fill out most of the report. So what I like to do is I like to get a line tool and basically draw lines, and then we're gonna use our arrange button to choose exactly how far we wanna space these things. So I've got my top line, my middle line, and then the very bottom, if I go to align and choose distribute vertically, that's gonna create the area and basically split the entire document in half. So now I can drag this all the way across and utilize that as my middle divider between the two. Next, I wanna do the same exact thing, except we wanna distribute horizontally to get the spacing across for our three boxes. So we start on the left, drop one in the middle, and then drop one on the very far right. And if need be, you can always select the object and go to align. And if you've got align to slide checked off, I can choose left and that will put it on the very left edge. And then I can do that for center and right as well. So multiple ways to do it, choose whichever fits best for your workflow. So I'm gonna go distribute horizontally. And now I've got my box that runs in the middle. So if I was doing a four up, this would split it. If I need to add one more, so that way I can have three boxes going across the top. You just add another line and do the same process. Then we're gonna take these and we wanna stretch them to the very top. And then bring these back down as well. So now I can get rid of the ones on the edge or if you want, you can use these to space all the way down and basically create a nice little frame for your drawings. adjust all of those lines. So I'm gonna select them all, and then I can make it the same outline shape as what we had for our rectangle at the top. So make sure you've got the correct color. Go back down here and grab the weight. So now I've dropped those in. The next part is I wanna create text boxes up here at the top that are gonna allow me to basically label the drawings from the actual file when we create it. So I'm gonna duplicate our text box up here, and then I can slide this back over and then basically what I like to do is I like to try and put in a file name and that's gonna allow me to be able to look at the size of the text and see if I need to make an adjustment. So instead of top runs, I can put Detroit Gunfar 12 zone. And if you like the way that that style looks, I can either shrink the text or I can enlarge it. So control shift comma will shrink it, control shift period will increase it. So you can tinker with that to get it to the exact style that you want. And then I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna adjust my fill color, and then I can duplicate that line. So Control D to du duplicate, or I can hold down the Control key and then click and drag and still continue to hold Control and then release your mouse, and that will drop those in as well. And then lastly, I always like to make sure I've got everything aligned properly, so I'm gonna go to Arrange, Align, and Select Top. So now I've got some nice, even looking drawings across the top. Now you wanna add in your drawing boxes where your drawing is gonna fit inside the template. So from here, we're gonna go to our Pro Quick Draw tab and hit the Add Box button. You have to hit Add Box in order to get the drawings to fill, and then I can just adjust my size, I want it to fill the whole box. You go to group number and change this to one. And then the type is the drawing and hit apply. So now I've got a drawing area loaded in this box. And then what else I also like to do is I change it to no outline and then no fill. And then control D to duplicate that object and drop it in and then same thing. No outline, 
no shape, but then I need to go back to my Pro Quick Draw tab and make sure that the group number selected for this drawing is two. Hit apply, do the same exact process. So now I just wanna make my adjustment, make sure I'm correctly inside the box. If you end up losing it because I use that no fill, you can always go right back in and change that outline to make sure that you've got it directly in the box where you need it. Change it to no outline, make sure we got no fill, and then I repeat the process and go to drawing three and then do the same thing for four, five, and six. Once you've got all your drawings placed, then we can go up here to our titles. If you select the title and go back to your Pro Quick Draw tab, we wanna adjust the group number to one, choose our dropdown for title, and then hit apply. So now it changes it to title one, and then we have to match the group numbers to the drawing in the spaces. So when you double click from your library, the first drawing is gonna drop into box one, and the title will drop in title one. Then I can select box two, group number two, title, and then do the same thing for three, four, five, and six. Once you've completed your template, just go back and verify that you've got drawing one is equal to one and title one is equal to one. And then make sure those numbers just correspond to all the way, depending on how many drawings you have. After you've completed your drawing, now you wanna start testing it and make sure that it works correctly. So we're gonna save this as a custom name into our template folder. This could be my top runs report would be the file name. So I'm gonna go to file, save as, and do that process. Make sure you save it to the correct template library, whether you have the default one with templates PowerPoint Landscape 16.9 or you have a custom folder. So now I'm gonna call this my top runs report. Hit save. So now I've created a template and then to test this, we're gonna close out and open PowerPoint again. So now we have a fresh one. I'm gonna go to toggle panel. Top left corner, we wanna select our template. So I'm looking for my top runs report. We're gonna hit the update button. And then we start testing. Now I can go down here to run game, double click. I've got my drawing and then I've got my text box at the top. And then just test that until you get all the way down to number six and then test it again. So that way you can make sure it creates a brand new slide when you get to number seven. So I've created a brand new template from scratch using drawings and titles and drop that directly in to get my top runs report.